Frenchies, they're a whole lot of fun. Congratulations if you just welcome a Frenchie puppy or any kind of puppy for that matter, purebred or mixed, from the shelter or from a kennel. Congratulations on your new member of the family. So Penny is about 15 months of age and Maximus is about nine months of age. Now the very first thing you should know about Frenchies is all about their temperament. They have a lot of drive, a lot of game. And what I mean by gameness is you see how they're constantly wanting to do a little wrestling match. Their physicality level is very, very high and they're often a lot stronger than they look. Frenchies in particular tend to be very, very stubborn. They take more time than the average dog to train, that's for sure. Well, think about it. How many Frenchies do you see winning obedience trials? And I know there's lots of videos of Frenchies doing that, but those are the exception. And those dogs required a lot more repetition than let's say a golden doodle or a poodle. So what I mean by this, okay, is most dogs will learn something in multiples of three. So if you have a very intelligent dog, it takes them three different times to learn something. Three reps of the same lesson, they'll learn it. Other dogs, it takes 30 times. Other dogs, 300. Some Frenchies, it takes 3,000. Other dogs, 30,000 times. Repetition, you need to persist. So number two, you need to be more stubborn than your Frenchie. Frenchies can be very, very, very stubborn. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. Don't be married to any one training philosophy. If tossing a treat in the crate makes your Frenchie go into the crate every time, regardless of what's happening around him, whether there's company over or other dogs, I put Paul my neck. Then I say keep his favorite treats stocked and use the treats. Yes, a dog can be trained to go into the kennel every time without having to give him a treat. But if you go in the professional route, it's gonna cost you more money than a box of treats. And realistically, I'm a big believer in picking battles. You have to pick your battles when you have a Frenchie. If you fight every battle with your Frenchie puppy, they're eventually they're going to lose interest in you. You're not gonna have the rapport that you should have, that other Frenchie owners have with their dogs. And your dog, for the most part, is going to learn to tune you out. And they're pretty physically stoic, but they're also can be mentally very, very willful. So again, pick your battles, yes? If your Frenchie is willing to listen to you over a treat, then I say use the treats, then move into a jackpot method, then wean them off of the jackpot method. But the best behaviors, if they go unrewarded long enough, become extinct. We cannot please them. And again, yes, it is possible to make a dog go into the kennel every time without a treat. But oftentimes trainers are gonna to resort to corrections and compulsion, forcing the dog. All under compulsion. And there's nothing wrong with that. If that's the way you wanna do it, then that's the way you should do it. I will say that if you toss the treat in the kennel and the dog doesn't go into the kennel because of the stimulation outside the distractions, then yes, if the dog understands what is being asked and maybe a correction is warranted. But every dog, every dog is different. Now you see the humping that the dog is doing, yeah? So maybe your new puppy's only been there for two or three days and is already starting to mount you all. It's not necessarily a sexual thing. It's a dominant social hierarchy type of thing often. It has a lot to do with pack dynamics. And quite frankly, I think it's good for dogs to hump one another. Better him understand that humping is inappropriate by being corrected by sweet little Penny than him doing it to your children, yes? Sometimes dogs just have to pardon the pun express themselves, yeah? It, and again, it's not that it's a sexual thing, it's just a way of expressing dominance, behavior, playing. It's a lot of, lot of possibilities of what it is. Every scenario is different. That's a play bout. Now the other thing that I wanna do, good, 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 good roll over. So you see what I'm doing now? If every time Penny goes on her back, I say good roll over, eventually she'll start rolling over. So this is good, 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 Penny, good roll over. Good roll over, good roll over, good roll over. Again, if every time I tell her, 
I see her rolling over and I start saying that phrase. Eventually, whenever I say roll over, she'll start doing that good roll over, good roll over, good roll over. So that's called the good word theory, okay? What I mean by the good word theory is get into the habit of acknowledging your dog's behavior when they do things unprompted. So let's say you're hanging out with your puppy and your puppy decides to go into his crate. Then tell it, good crate. Hanging out with puppy and puppy happens to sit. Look at your puppy and say, good sit. Let's say puppies are wrestling. Good, 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 good. So you see the reason I said good, good, good there is because she gave him a little bit of a break. Now she's gonna run. So let's look for opportunities. Oh see, he more than likely wants to go potty. Good, 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 good. So watch how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start good, good, good. Chanting the word good, 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 good. Praising him for following me. And this leads us into our next bit of advice. You always wanna keep water strictly outdoors so that the dogs know outside is where the water is at. The reason that he went outside so readily is because the water is out here and there's a smaller bowl for them on the other side. So unbeknownst to the puppies, I'm watching what they're doing outside. Now that they've gone outside for water because they were thirsty, I'm going to expect them to go potty and I'm gonna give them five minutes to go potty. Now this is important. This only works with a dog that is clean. And what I mean by clean is a dog that is unwilling to soil his crate. And his crate should be small enough for him to stand up and turn around in. If your crate's a lot larger than that, you have a problem. Your dog's more than likely going to use the restroom in the crate. More on that later. So really quickly, I've been watching them. I'm gonna watch them for about five minutes, like I said, if five minutes pass and they don't go potty, I'm going to put them back into the crate when they come back in. Now, if they do go potty when they're outside, I'm gonna let them come back in and I'm gonna reward them with a 30 minute block of free time. After that 30 minute block of free time, I'm going to put them in the crate for a minimum of 30 minutes. Now, after that 30 minute crate period is up, good, 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 good. If they haven't asked to go back outside for more water or for a potty break, then I put them back into their crate for a minimum of 30 minutes. Now we're gonna add a little bit of mayhem to the equation, yeah? Just to show you my next point. My next point is, though Frenchies are small, and these happen to be some of the smallest Frenchies, this is one of the little itty bittiest ones. Good, 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 bubba. Smallest little bull babies that I've had. Frenchies, although they're small, they're mighty, they have a lot of courage. They're not afraid of anything. I'm gonna illustrate this by bringing out, boom, bike. The key. This is the first time Bayek's ever met Maximus, and Maximus is first time meeting Bayek. Penny knows Bayek. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Oh, oh my God. Look, <laughs> good crate. Good word theory, huh? Good crate. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good. See? Good, 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 Penny. Good, good, good. Good. Look, see? Bike loves to play with her. Male or female? Good, good, good. Good, Maximus. So brave, Maximus. Look how brave he is. Other dogs would have curred out. Gone over there, maybe stayed over there, but not little Maximus. Look, Maximus ready to bite his legs. Good, 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 Maximus. <laughs> oh, freaking cute. Good, good, good. Now we do supervised play. The bike is big enough to hurt them inadvertently. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. What good, good, good. do you see? I just want to play, huh? Oh, you want to tug now? We're tired of trying to get their attention. And look, look. Good. Good, 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 Penny. How oh, cute. Good, good, good. So fast! Look at him. Oh my goodness! Good, good, good. So fast! Good, good, good. Good, Penny. Good bite. All right, guys. We got a lot of content coming up with Frenchies, but those are a good 
few starting points to start off with. I'm going to close by reinforcing what I mean by the good word theory, yes? If you happen to see your puppy do a behavior that you like, goes into the crate, sits on his own without being prompted, lays down, comes towards you. The dog is coming towards you, start to chant the word good. If the dog comes up to you and sits, tell him, good, 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 sit. This is going to create a behavior where the dog walks up to you and sits whenever you call for him or chant for him rather, yeah? Watch, I'll demonstrate. Bayek. Good, 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 Bayek. Good, good, good. Good, Bayek. Good. Good, good, good. 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 Good, good, good. Good. Good, good. Good, good, sit. See how I handled him? He doesn't want to come and sit with me. He wants to pester little Maximus. Look at, look at Penny, pestering the actor. But you see how I handled it? I just said the word good and he walked up to me and sat down without me telling him to SIT. The reason that he did that, because every time he would sit, I would look at him, pet him under the chin, tell him sit, good sit, good sit, as I'm petting him under the chin. Good, good, good. Oh, good. I'm about to go into his crate, so I'm gonna reward him for that. And now watch. You served your purpose. Good, good, good. I've been waiting for you. Look at that. Sure, they go in there and give them hell in there. Good, 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 good. And now that I put Bayek up, they're tired. This is the easiest time to crate them, yes? Good, 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 good. It's another point. Their stamina, although they think they can go all day, they can't. And if you don't bring a stop to the play or to their energy level, if you just let them go wild all the time, they can overheat on you, can have health problems. So you need to know when enough is enough and nothing better no better way of settling them down than putting them in the crate. And I'm gonna show you how I'm going to do it with a couple of dogs. And if they're stubborn about it, watch. Hopefully they'll be stubborn about it so you can see exactly how I would do it, yes? So look, oh, good, 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 good crate. See, that comes from the good word theory, yes? Now watch with her, she's stubborn. Good penny, good crate. It's the good word theory, good crate. Watch, if I don't want her to come out, watch what I'm gonna do. Every time she comes out, I step forward. Good crate, you see that? Good settle. Good work there, yeah? Let's make it harder. I'm gonna do it with both of them, yeah? He's, I've never done this with him before. Good settle. So watch, if he tries to get out, good settle. I'm going to step towards it. Good settle. Cute, huh? Good settle. Now this is obviously easier because I'm using them being tired to my advantage, guys. And you notice how there's nothing in the crate? You don't wanna put the crate you don't want to fill the crate with things rather like beds or toys because your dog is going to play with all of those things, destroy the beds, possibly use the beds and or toys as sponges for their pee poop. So don't do it, Maggie. No, man. Good, good, good. Good settle. So watch. Look, she came out. I stepped forward. Good settle. Look again. Good, good, good weight. And see, I'm saying settle when she's down like him. Good settle. Good crate rather I should be using instead of weight when she's just sitting up like this, okay? And now I'm going to close it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Got a lot of great content coming up, especially with Frenchies. We're gonna be knowing this little guy for a long time. And Penny, Penny's always gonna be around, yeah? Now that is going to the silence.